Hi people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's now 1.30 here in Dhaka. The winter is slowly going away and I had an idea uh, being depressed and all that because this year everything was horrible. Basically when I mean this year, I mean last year. Uh, 2020 was a very horrible year. Uh, we all know that we don't know what 2021 holds for us, but most probably we're praying for better days. So summer is going to be up in no time, but in the middle of winter, let's say it's like still winter going on in most of the countries. So I want to put up like sort of like updated top 20. I initially wanted to do top 10, but I keep adding, adding. So I'm going to put up top 20 fresh fragrances currently from mostly my new collections. Okay, like new ones I acquired. I'm going to put up uh, like top 20 mixed with some of the older ones, but uh, just showing you it's not a top 20 like by ranking. All of them are really nice. So I'm just going to show one by one. And then we have, I think, one... Um, like a, like a, what you call Thai, the rest of them are all individual uh, entries. Okay, so we'll start with two honorable mention. First honorable mention I'm gonna do is this perfume. It's a bit hard to find in my country and I heard it's discontinued or something like it. It's from House of Lanvin. It's called Eclat Dear Page. I was looking for this perfume for a very long time. Finally scored a small 50 ml bottle. I really love this ozonic melon, um, not mellow, melon. Okay, and a uh, nice little uh, juice for summer very long lasting very uplifting i love this juice okay this is my first honorable mention if you find it somewhere definitely try it this is really good it's called eclat dr page purom by long Vin. and second one honorable mention i just want to show you every year i whenever summer comes this is my staple okay i'm going to show this any day anytime but not including in the list because it's very well known this is versace purom or vph the beautiful Medusa, okay. This is a classic. Everybody knows this perfume. So these two definitely are some of the best summer fragrances out there. So I'm going to remove them. I'm going to write the list for you. If you didn't follow the names, uh, I will put them down in the description box. Check them out, okay. And one other thing, many of the popular ones like Aventus, like Hachivat, they won't make the list not because they are not good enough. They are good, but I want to show you some other ones, okay. So I'll start with the new one. Okay, and I'm, I don't know how this is going to work out. I have to keep getting up and putting it and come back and forth because 20 fragrance, a lot of them. So first one I'm going to show you is uh, my new purchase. This is YSL Lom Le Parfum. I bought this and I thought it's going to be good for mid winter or like, let's say mild cold weather time. But I'm actually liking this a lot more in warmer climate. You know, like this is Lom DNA with a little bit of blue tinge. It's very nice, very fresh, sweeter, uh, but I think you can wear this definitely at workplace okay so first one is Lom Le Parfum okay so we go from here actually we'll keep it from here and then we're gonna go far slowly okay I think we reverse the process today yeah leave it here Lom Le Parfum number one by YSL number two I'm gonna rank them like not rank them just gonna show them a little bit update second one I'm gonna show you is Dunhill Desire Gold this one just came out this year not much talk or marketing going on absolutely beautiful bottle really nice if you like bling bling i uh, really like these bottles very well painted and a very nice inspired clone of uh, creed aventus this is sweeter uh, got this nice tart citrus with this uh, sweet uh, green apple opening sort of and then afterwards what follows is typical aventus like dna but i think this is a very decent release and price point wise this is as good as explorer or better than mont blanc explorer okay number two is Dunhill desire gold I plan to wear these in upcoming summer. Number three, another new perfume that I bought is Roca's Loam. I cannot tell you how unique this smells, how beautiful this smells. I really love the way this one is constructed. It's herbal, fresh, green, spicy, all those and very unique. This one made my uh, last year, so one of the best purchase that I made last year. Uh, Roca's did a very fantastic job here. Try, try it out. Roca's Loam, number three number four not by any ranking obviously remember that um, this is gonna be mostly uh, just one to twenty in random order number four is this one Armaf Club de Nuit Siage I bought it uh, not many uh, weeks ago and I really love it. it is great silver mountain water on steroids really like the opening very nice this one has sweeter uh, fruitier citrusy tone uh, very unlike uh, the um silver mountain water and it's much more approachable and really good performer okay one of the best arm of release one of my top five arm at this current moment arm of club de nuit siage number four number five azaro 
we're gonna go with this beautiful green juice the whole, out of the whole line i love this and naughty leather but the performance wise this one takes the cake i saw max 40 putting it in his list this is just so stunning if you smell it it's the sweetness it just captures you it's like the it's like a next level stuff it's much better than mugler produced with the crypto mint and everything i think this is one of the best main base fragrance in the market and in summer days this will do wonders number five is azaro wild mint so from this side you're gonna go number six number six is this one mr burberry indigo um i want to show one more burberry, burberry after this but this perfume needs more love okay i'm telling you if you do like mint if you like freshness good performance and a very handsome gentlemanly affair this is so good guys this is just unbelievable and the price range is very good uh so look at this the bottle is very lovely as well i like this perfume i wear this a lot in high heat this one works really good in uh high heat okay so mr burberry indigo that's number six number seven uh, known one everybody knows this dolce and gabbana light blue poor home oh intense edp long name i used to have two 200 mls now ended up buying 100 ml now this is a uh, staple if you ask me i hated the original i love this the juice color is nice it's more citrusy it's a uh, kind of like a fragrance that you'd like to wear in high heat summer on the best freshes in the game dolce and cabana light blue oh intense poor home edp next i'm going to show you a different kind of fragrance many of you will say this is a summer perfume yes night time even midday the high heat this fragrance makes it so much better in high heat it's really good at winter but the projection is really lovely in the air it's a bit uh, i would say bit uh, tough to handle at first because it's a bit mature but the fragrance more and more you wear it it's very addictive versace the dreamer this is my second bottle i just had to have a backup bottle of this because this fragrance is just timeless piece of classic art okay like it's a beautiful perfume it's an affordable one bottle is really nice classy and the smell it's just different level check out my review on that one versace dreamer great summer uh i think i would say dating fragrance okay that's that Next one, we're gonna go with uh, one of my favorite in kind time. It's a bees mode performer, beautiful oceanic accord fruity, and it has the sweetness of original. This is Pakora Ban, okay? This is Invictus Legend, the blue bottle. This is the most beautiful looking bottle in this line, and this is a summer king. It's even better than my, I would say it's more interesting than Invictus Aqua, the vintage, but uh, it has its place. But here right now, this is the best from this house for summer okay invictus legend okay the <clears throat> next one and after that i think we're gonna need more space i don't know <laughs> but you're running out of space next one is nishane saffron colonies uh, they have colonies which has neroli i think i forgot the notes but it has freshness but this one they add saffron and leather i think very strong it just lasts all day nishane their perfume oil concentration is very very high okay and the uh, <clears throat> performance is out of this world so remember that nishane saffron colonies it's truly niche strong perfume like a performer okay so that's that so we have 10 cover i think we have uh, 10 more to go with one uh, tie just give me a sec yeah i figured that you know like the space is gonna run out and you won't be able to see the bottles far up there so i'm gonna i just remove the first 10 i'm gonna show you the next 10 so hopefully this is gonna be a better setup so i'll write down the names anyway so you'll see so i was gonna talk i was talking about now uh, we'll go from left this time i was talking about this one um tie here like two fragrances in one position one spot i really want to show one but the other one just you know couldn't i couldn't leave it out so first one i'll show you is this one uh, pineapple vintage intense by perfumes vintage this is such a good fragrance i really like it but i think it works best in summer okay the pineapple juiciness a little bit dark a little bit smoky and the perfume is a bit expensive but i think it's worth the money got got really good performance so this one i would not say this is a perfect clone of aventus but i think it does well okay but uh another pineapple based fragrance i think this is also equally good but way affordable this is swiss arabian shock many people are buying this and the new bottle came in uh new design but this is the older design i don't know about the juice differentiation but i think it shouldn't be that different but this is also beast mode pineapple juice okay this is a must have if you are looking for a summer perfume this one you have to have in your collection if you're just a collector this is a very good fragrance okay shock by uh swiss arabian next one i'm going to show you i wore this in my winter days i'm still wearing them this one 
uh, I compared this with Edition Blanche and Annie. You know which I'm talking about. This is going to be Lolita Lempica Green Lover. Very beautiful bottle, juice, and little hidden gem right here. People are now giving it recognition in India, Bangladesh. Uh, very affordable. This fragrance is just stunner. I'm going to tell you once again, whatever fragrance you're going to see today, this is one of the prettiest ones. Okay. Try it out. It works really good in winter. Also, you can try it out in summer. No problem. If you are in the air conditioned zone, this, the sweetness of the lemon, it's, it, that's where I find freshness. Okay. So Lolita Lempica, Green Lava. Next one, I think it's going to be uh, one of the best fragrances from this house. Okay. This is a flanker, the original. But I think this is one of the best vetiver based perfume. This is the reason I did not show many other vetivers. Okay. So this is my choice of vetiver for today. Hermes. The Terre Hermes. Oh, intense vetiver. Bit darker juice. And it has this bit brown cap. Really lovely bottles with this H at the bottom. This presentations are stunning. If you twist it, it sprays. Okay. It has a lot of attention detailing. Locking mechanism. Very nice. So this one is next level vetiver. This one I did not understand at first. Okay. If you do like Guerlain Vetiver, if you did like uh, many other vetivers, Tom Ford, Grey Vetiver or Lunar Vetiver by Amarud, try that one. This is a good fragrance investment, okay? If you like the smell, it's really long-lasting, projects a lot, very masculine. One of the best freshies for summer. Next one, Amarud. I'm going to show you Whetstone. I will just tell you one thing. This is Ambergris Heaven. This is so nice. This is so a little bit spicy, very inoffensive. At first, you will not think much of it. You'll think it's weak and whatnot, but more and more you wear it. It's just stunning fragrance. I just thank just Max Forte for this gem. This is one of the best summer perfumes I have at this current moment with amazing performance. Okay. Uh, more and more you wear it. It's so nice. It hugs your skin and that ambergris just pops up nice. It's a spicy ambergris oceanic kind of fresh perfume. Okay. Stone by Amarud. Next one. This is a staple in summer. Okay. This fragrance I'll never leave without. It's got discontinued, but I'm gonna buy back a bottle if I have to. Prada Amber Purom, the purple juice. Beautiful looking bottle. Beautiful looking juice. This is one of the best high class bar of soap scent ever. Uh, the juice lasts a long time, spicy, amber, and then it has this kind of like a freshness. This is the best from Prada House. Prada Lom and this absolute stunner. Okay. Prada Amber, Purom, just wear it at work, professional, goes so nice and very high class. It smells very expensive and niche-like, okay? So now last five. These are not by any ranking, so it's not top five. Just going to show you one by one. Next one I'm going to pick is this one. Uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mal, okay? This is, I think, uh, Le Beau, not Le Mal, sorry. This is called Le Beau, not Le Beau Mal, Le Beau, with that nice sort of leaf in there, you know, as undergarment or something. Very beautiful bottle very nicely constructed like Lama Essence de Parfum but what's great about it is that Tonka and Coconut okay it's very um, lotion like it's very tropical fruity uh, performance is middle of the road not the beast mode like Lama or Ultra Male but trust me this smells nice if you want to spend five six quality hours with your friends good casual fragrance for summer don't overlook this okay Le Beau by uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier very beautiful juice color as well okay Four left. Next one, I'm going to show you Prada once again. This is Prada Lom Low, the blue, light blue grip. What's good about this one is it has that original Prada Lom DNA, but it makes it a lot more watery iris, okay? It has this uh, inoffensive feel just like Prada Lom. Uh, it's a little bit muted than Prada Lom. does not throw it out so much like Prada Lom. But what's good about this is it's sophistication. If you wear this at your work, people will really know this guy is like, serious you know he's like a handsome guy and he's uh classy at the same time he is sophisticated doesn't want to speak so much like i'm doing right now prada Lom low is my next choice so have three left i'm going to show you next one it's one of my favorites nobody shows this perfume any in any list i show it because i've been wearing this since my fragrance journey began this is hugo by hugo extreme this is the extreme version adp 100 mil they also have 125 mil and few other flankers but what's good about this is the green apple and then the pine these two mix green meets blue sort of lasts all day this fragrance lasts all day one of the best fragrances this house ever produced and the strength of it is much stronger than the original okay hugo boss hugo by hugo extreme two left i'm going to show you another burberry uh if my friend thomas says this is going to be very happy 
from Greece. This is his favorite. But Ray's Touch for Men. I cannot leave it out. Just stunning. It's a baby powder smell, kind of spicy, kind of like, you know, long lasting. It's like uh, fresh, watery, long lasting and bit. Uh, it got that very nice projection, you know, the high heat. It projects really beautifully. Um, inoffensive, again, really clean, fresh, like the Pradas they do. But I really like this, okay? If you buy a Burberry, this is one of the must buys, okay? It's so good. Burberry, touch for him. Last but not least, I want to feature this perfume. I just want to show it in one video. Um, this I recently bought. It's not really unique all that much, but more and more I smell it, you know? Okay? Just sprayed it just for remembrance. It's so good. Uh, it's kind of like Aqua Digio's, kind of like CK1's and all those freshies, but it has its own smell. Got this nice, fresh, breezy, watery accords, kind of like uh, metallic. This is Bentley for Men, Silver Lake, the latest flanker. You can try the Bentley for Men Azure, that's also good, but this one has better performance. So try out this 10 plus 10, 20 plus 1, 21, and then two other. So total 23 fragrances. I think this is going to be really good for upcoming summers. Just prepare, you know, because you never know. Before you know, when you want to find you wake up, boom. Winter is gone, sun's up. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support, guys. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.